welcome back to Imagination Mansion. This week I'm going to be doing something a bit different to what I usually do because basically my brain has been mush and I didn't want to sacrifice my filming schedule because I'm one of those people where if I miss one, I it's so much easier to miss all of them. So, and I also didn't want to like hash something terrible together. So the video on how I construct plots is coming, but it's probably going to be next week because, like I said, just focusing on anything has been a no-go this week. It's just, it's just one of those things. So I thought instead I would <laughs> take a kind of updated tour through my notebooks because I have done mini stationary tours before on this channel um, a long time ago um, but I thought I'd stick to just notebooks and I've also got quite a few <laughs> um, so let's get started I have separated them into three piles and these piles are ones I have used fully ones I am in the process of using so they've got you know scribbles in them I'm using them for something um, and three ones that I haven't yet started using and some that I may not use because they're just too pretty um, so pile number one which is my I have already used them starting from this one this is just a like pleather, I guess, um, notebook from Wilco's that I got years ago. As you can see, it's completely destroyed. Um, but this has got so many of like, like this is how old it is. This is from when I was planning what universities I wanted to go to. <laughs> this is how old this notebook is got some of my old story ideas in it and it's always just nice to flick through because it kind of refreshes my mind and my imagination you know see if I can figure anything out from what's written in here. Second one says, I don't know if you can see that, it says busy blogging and this was a gift from a friend. Is it from Graduation? Yeah, I think this was a graduation gift for a friend who was also graduating and then I felt super guilty because I didn't know she was doing that and I hadn't given her anything because she also gave me, um, I can't remember if it was at the same time, but she also gave me The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, a book I like very much. Um, and so I've had, this is an, I didn't finish it, finish it, like there's still some blank pages in the back, but it's it's just a mess of things, to be honest. Next is one from Paper Chase. Next is one from Paper Chase. Just nearly killed the desk, man. And it just says, Girls support girls. Good message. Um, and this is filled with... I kind of used it as a bit of a journal for a bit um, when I started to try and first get into journaling. And then I also did some like French study in there, and then yeah, it's it's a bit more my thoughts. I started off with figuring out my astrological birth chart because why not? Next we have this, which came in a set of three, um, but this one literally just used it as a productivity diary, like. No matter how much or how little I did every day, I wrote it down. And I'm also doing one of those at the moment, but it's not in a notebook, which is why I haven't included it in this or like diary, diary, and I'm like halfway through. So it's going well. Next up is this one. Uh, this one was from um, a shop called Kenji, which we have in the Arndale. And this. Hilariously, most of this is oh, me writing down all the writing competitions. Something I want to get back into. Some, 
competition story ideas in the back of it. And then it's got some drawings in the very back. Uh, some of which I will not show because they're naff. But I quite like this one. Which I posted on my Instagram a while ago. This one is actually quite sentimental. Because this one, as you can see, has been not professionally, but personally monogrammed by someone I used to work with. This was actually what I used for um, journaling and I followed along with um, Carrie and Carrie Hope Fletcher when she did her Journal Along With Me series and that's what I used that for. And I still had a little room in the back so I put in like a couple of extra entries I managed to finish it and I was quite proud of myself for that. Um, it's still good to flick through every now and again and be like, oh, I was feeling, you know, quite um, uplifted that day, or oh my god, I was having a bad day that day. And it's quite interesting to see how my writing style changes with that as well. So that was quite cool. Um, now onto the A4. These ones are from online courses that I do through FutureLearn. I haven't paid for like the unlimited stuff or anything so I don't technically get anything out of it in terms of I don't get a certificate, I don't get any kind of formal recognition but I still found it very very, I still find them very very interesting to do and I think academics is a way of furthering myself um, and especially like it helps with my creativity as well because it gives me new things to explore you know like um, the topics that I did were moons in this one so all about moons all about the different moons that we have in our solar system what they're composed of um, how close they are to each planet um, how they could have been made all this kind of stuff and this was just a cheap um, project book from WH Smiths and yeah I filled it up with all this space knowledge and obviously I keep it around because um, with the free courses you can't go back into them in terms of like you have the fixed time period to do the course and that's it if you've got unlimited I think you can go back in and take as long as you want but I funds um, so I basically write take as many notes as I can so I can flick through this um, so it's almost like instead of learning from that I basically just get down as much information as I can from that and then study it at my own pace later um, so that's the first one and then the second one this was um, business fashion yeah understanding fashion from business to culture and this was again from W.A. Smiths. Um, I actually posted about these a bit ago on my Instagram stories because I it's one of the very few times I'd ordered stationery online because I'm <laughs> I'm so old-fashioned I hate ordering things online but obviously when I ordered these we were in lockdown one so um, you know I didn't I couldn't really do anything else and I was like I need something to do so I ordered some notebooks, started some courses. So that's all the notebooks that I have with me that I filled in. I have tons more at my parents' house, but obviously locked down. Next we have all the ones I am currently using. Now I know I could multi-purpose these notebooks. I probably should because it does like looking at this it does feel like a bit of a waste but at the same time the way my brain works like I need separate notebooks for separate things because like otherwise um, I get confused <laughs> very easily um, don't know why it's just the way my brain works but anyway I have this little Santoro one, which I'm a little bit of the way through, and this is the one, because it's so small, this is the one that I, if I'm going on a walk, I'll slip this in my bag, if I'm wearing my 
men's coat. I'll slip this in my pocket. You know, only men have notebook sized pockets and I think I got it from HomeSense. You will find a theme here, quite a few of these notebooks, like especially like the slightly fancy looking ones, are from home sets. I have no self-control in that shop, which I should because I am not rich. <laughs> this one was from someone from university as a secret Santa gift, because we did like a secret Santa from all the people on our course. And this one I have used. We have this one that I got for Christmas from my brother and this actually has a lot of my business planning notes um, as well as video idea notes. I had you know my bit for characters in here, um, my possible videos page Yep, just a load of boring business stuff, <laughs> which I think, I think boring is the wrong word, I think tedious is probably the right word, like you want to get to the good bits but you've got to go through all this bulk first, like cash flow. Ugh. Next we have this one, which is a really pretty one from Paper Chase, and I didn't start using this for ages because it's really pretty, like it's got golden sides and stuff. But I've started using it, like the HB monogrammed one you saw before, as a journal. But obviously, this time, I don't have prompts. I could, like I could have gone looking for some. But I kind of just wanted a way of writing every day. I don't, I'm not as um, on task with this as I am with my diary diary, because that I write in every day just as a list of things I have done in that day. Kind of just to keep tabs on everything. So this I haven't written in every day, but I try to write in it as often as possible. Next one is this Agenzio notebook from Paper Chase. Um, and this is where I write down all my stories and ideas. So this is kind of trying to keep a catalogue of all the ideas, no matter how brief that I have had. And so you can't properly read it, but you can probably zoom in. Um, I, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot and I'm continuously adding to it, like the other day. See, this is why I study things, because I, I literally had an idea the other, day, the other day doing the course that I'm currently doing on the Tudors. And so I just like, half the time I was, you know, paying attention to what was going on in the lesson and then half the time I was scribbling down fiction ideas in there. Um, this is another notebook um, that I got from HomeSense. Um, and this one is back when I was trying to study French. I'm going to try and pick it up again some point. Um, but yeah, so we've got um, Duolingo lessons in here and then like book studies because I did, like I bought a book and everything and I just, this is a big notebook from the works. Creativity takes courage. Indeed it does. Um, this was supposed to be and started being my video planning notebook yeah, so it's like video ideas and stuff like that but it just it just didn't happen <laughs> um so i'm gonna try and find a new use for this or maybe because i am nearly at the end of my little pink notebook that you saw before so maybe i can go back to using this i think it's just awkward and a bit bulky and it's hardback so it's not it's not the friendliest of like usage but i will find a use for it and then got this notebook, again from the collection that I got at WX Smiths a while ago, and this is currently in use for the study that I'm doing at the moment, which is, like I said before, on Cheers. Um, very interesting. Um, I'm enjoying it. And then we have this kind of like very generic notebook that I am currently writing a new story idea in. Um, <laughs> 
it's just it's kind of just like a scribble book at the moment for this specific idea i think because i can't figure out what i want to do with it and i can't even figure out what medium i want to be in like do i want it to be a story like written book do i want it to be a comic do i want it to be a bit of both i even dabbled with the idea of you know like the whole decide your destiny kind of thing or like visual novel kind of thing like obviously i have no knowledge of game design so if i went down that route i would need to make friends with some very specific people <laughs> but it's interesting it's a very hopefully i'll be able to figure something out and i'll be able to tell you guys about it at some point next we have the notebooks that i have not yet used so these are pristine untouched clean pages first up we have this little trio uh, from paper chase three little notebooks uh one is plain one is ruled and one is dotted um and i actually got these pretty cheap because the back is like mangled so i got these in like a, the little sale section that they used to have on the top floor um so and i do want to use these for something at some point but i don't know what any suggestions please leave a comment and because i need to figure something out next um from home sense like i said a theme um is this pretty little notebook um, with little pink edges, it's got the little Big Ben tower on it, and it's plain, so once again, need to find a use for this, don't know what to do with it, um, I will think of something, um, so that's that one, and it's like, it's, it's one of those like fake leather, kind of like flexible but still hard back. Which I quite like. Another home sense one is this. It's a little black book and it's got a little that is binded in the middle um, and it's got like a little inkwell and a little calligraphy. See it's not a quill and it's not a fountain pen but I don't know what you call it like dip pen whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you call it but <laughs> It's one of those things where I got it because I, I picked it up and I didn't want to put it down. But it's almost too pretty or too aesthetic for me to use. So I don't know what to do with it. Because I almost kind of like what I had with the blue spotty one. I kind of don't want to ruin it. So I want to find like the perfect use for it. But we'll see. Another one that I'm probably not going to use because I don't want to ruin it in any way, shape, or form was a present. So I'm sorry, but I just, it's, I can't, I can't touch it. It's just, yeah, it's this, um, based on the potion text from Harry Potter, um, the one that, you know, property of the Half Blood Prince, etc. And it's like ruled pages and stuff. And you know, it's got like silver foiling and all this kind of stuff. And I I just don't want to ruin it and I don't want to use it. And it's just too pretty. And it also because like Snape my favorite character and like if I was in the Harry Potter world, I would like absolutely 100% try and be the best potion student if I to impress him. Like I just <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Um, the one that came with the Princess Jasmine one that was in my used pile is this one. They came in a three. Mulan is at my parents' house. Um, and yeah, I will use this eventually. This isn't exactly like one I haven't used because like the potions one I don't want to. This is just a, I haven't got around to it yet. Uh, this one's from Paper Chase. And hilariously, the only reason I have this is because I bought this as a present for my brother. But then I found something better <laughs> to get him for Christmas. And so I kind of just have this now. Because <laughs> I like bugs. He likes bugs, which is obviously why I 
and got it like he had pet millipedes at one point um i just have to find a use for it once again any suggestions are welcome another one i got from home sense is this one that says my big adventure and it's got like a big vintage map on it and it's got kind of like fake aged paper and kind of stuff inside it and you know and this is another one where i'm like i'm less you know like oh i don't want to ruin it because it's kind of already you know a bit banged up and stuff but i still want to find a proper use for it if i eventually figure out what i'm doing with the idea that i'm using the tesco notebook for you know maybe i could refine it a little and you know world building Another one that I got as a present is this one. I think this might be from the works again. And it's just a simple Harry Potter nine and three quarters notebook. Um, and I, yeah, I will probably use this at some point when I've finished off my other ones and it will probably become, you know, like a miscellaneous jot stuff down notebook. And then finally, Another one that's probably gonna be another um, study notebook because I like studying in A4. Um, I think because it gives me like more time to write, I guess, and it gives me more words to look at, and it just feels more like school. Because <laughs> though I'm not one of these people that would want to go back to school for like social reasons, I guess I did enjoy classes. I was a nerd. <laughs> So it, it, it gives me that academic vibe of being in a classroom again, which I quite enjoyed. Um, and this is the next one that I have. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it says like, I tilt it, and it says master plans, and it's like marble effects, and it's a bit grander than the other ones I got, because I don't think I realised quite how fancy it was on the website. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I have a list of things that I want to study, so I'm not 100% sure which topic I will use this for, but it will definitely have a study purpose. So that was my um, notebook collection. Um, that is the notebooks that I currently have in my current residence, um, and I probably won't be getting any more in the near future, which is good for both the space that I have, because I live in a very pokey little city flat, and for my bed because, oh, is that thing tiny. This was a bit different, um, but give it a thumbs up if you liked it, um, and subscribe because I am making new videos every week, and the plot video is on the way, I just didn't want to half-hash it and give you something useless, so I thought I'd shake things up a bit, and I will do that when I have a bit more brain power. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.